Welcome to the final video where I explain how I create my paper mark pieces. In this last edition, I'm going to explain how I take a final print, which has all of its layers, and turn it into something that you see at the Toronto Outdoor Art Fair. I print all my paper mark pieces onto Japanese paper because it's both strong and has the same color qualities as aged paper. However, I like to have a white border around my prints. So, to achieve this, I glue the finished prints onto white western rag paper in a process called shinkalai. Shinkalai can be done several different ways, and my preferred technique is called the stamp method. For the stamp method, I coat the backs of my prints with rice paste and allow it to fully dry. Once dry, I cut the prints to shape and bring them to the printing press. Rice paste is activated by moisture and pressure, kind of like how you can lick and press an envelope closed. So I place the print glue side up onto the press bed and cover it with a damp piece of paper. The two pieces of paper are then run through the press and the pressure adheres the coated print to the damp backing paper. But if there's one thing we all know about paper, is that wet paper doesn't like to dry flat. So the shinkalade prints are placed in between boards to dry. And the prints are finished. Unless it's like the piece behind me, which showcases the full ratio of the bank note. Paper marks are over 100 years old and their edges aren't crisp, so I sand the edges of all of my full banknote prints to remain as authentic as possible to the original. Thank you so much for joining me on this three-part video of how I create my paper mark prints. I hope that we can see each other in person again soon. But for now, bye!